In this case, we're going to do a problem dealing with ratios, and here's a good example for you. A board, 18 feet long, is cut into two pieces such that one piece is one-fifth the length of the other piece. Find the length of each piece. Okay, sometimes it helps to draw, make a little drawing, so imagine we have a board, and we're going to cut it in two pieces, like so. So let's say we have a short piece and a long piece. Together, they add up to 18 feet. So this is 18 feet. And um, the short end is one-fifth the size of the big end. All right, so if we call this x in length, if you, if you let x be the length of the short piece, then 18 minus x would be the length of the long piece. And then the problem says that the long piece is five times as big as the short piece, or the short piece is one-fifth the length of the big piece. All right, so we then write, let x equal the length of the short piece. You may wonder, why am I writing all this out? Well, it's very important that you very carefully define what x represents. So x is the length of the short piece. So that's a good definition. And then 18 minus x is equal to the length of the long piece. And now they tell us that the one piece, the short piece in this case, is one-fifth the length of the long piece. So the short piece or I should say the length of the short piece is equal to one-fifth the length of the long piece. So you can see that mathematical equations are basically just simply mathematical translations of an English sentence. So if we now represent x for the length of the short piece, so x is therefore equal to one-fifth the length of the long piece, and the long piece is 18 minus x. And now we can go ahead and solve this problem. First thing we want to do is get rid of the fraction, so that means we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5. So multiply the left side by 5, the right side by 5. So 5 times x gives me 5x. 5 times 1 fifth, that cancels out. So I'm left with, like that, so I'm left with 18 minus x. The next thing I do is move all the terms with x to one side, keep all the numbers on the other side, so we get 5x. And remember, when you cross over the equal sign with anything, the sign changes, so this becomes 5x plus x equals 18. Now let's move over here because we're running out of room. So I combine both sides, the like terms on both sides. So 5x plus x, it's 6x equals the right side still 18. And the last thing we do is we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of x, the number in front of x. That cancels out. So we have x equals 3. Going back to our definition, since x represented the length of the short piece, that means the short piece was 3 feet long. And 18 minus x, well, since x is 3, 18 minus x is 15. So 15 feet should be the length of the long piece. And just to make sure we did this correctly, is the short piece exactly one-fifth the length of the other piece, the long piece? 3 is exactly one-fifth of 15. It should be, because 3 divided by 15 is the same as 1 over 5. And bingo! we know we did it correctly.